Some of the best ad campaigns that I've seen and some of the best social media campaigns have all been based around storytelling. And you might think that that is a bit fluffy and you might think that it's pretty clever and pretty, or you might even think, actually, that's pretty standard. Everyone does that in marketing. Um, I just want to highlight here how important I think it is and why. Um, so if you think about kind of the most memorable advert that you can think of, chances are it's got a story that's been appended to it. So case in point, John Lewis advert. It's now kind of a hotly anticipated uh, event every Christmas when the, when the advert comes out. We all remember Monty the Penguin and the kind of s snowman love story and the, the little boy kind of on Christmas morning. Um, and the reason why those stick with me is because they made me feel something. So I'm sure you've, you've seen the kind of messages coming through on Twitter and Facebook as the advert airs, that how many people have been crying at the John Lewis advert. Um, but there's, there's a real science behind that. So um, there's a theory developed by someone called Nick Shackleton-Jones, who I am fortunate enough to work with, um, called Effective Context. Now, Effective Context basically says that um, if you see something that you feel something about, that memory is more likely to stick with you. So if you want someone to remember your campaign, it's a great idea to tell an emotive story so that people will then recall it at a later date. Um, so I'll just give you a really practical example of it. So for example, if I said to you, um, tell me about a train journey that you've been on um, recently. Tell me about your train journey to work last Thursday or your train journey to university last Thursday. Um, you might be able to kind of approximate bits of memory and say, oh yeah, kind of. Um, I was, yeah, it was cold and I got a cup of tea and the train was, I think it was on time, but you wouldn't really be able to tell me much about, about the journey itself. Um, now, if, say for example, on that Thursday that I was asking you to tell me about a fight had broken out on your train, now you would have felt something about that. So you might have felt scared or you might have felt excited, I don't know, you might have thought it was funny, you might have had your phone out filming it. Um, but chances are, you will, that's something different that's made you feel something, so you're more likely to recall it at a later date. So all that I'm saying to take from this is when you're thinking about your campaign, think about it as a story that you can tell and think how you can pull on different emotions to make people remember that.